to show you the power of the EXR files into composite. So we'll create a new composite and we'll import. Now render output, camera fly, test floor. Now here we've got the collapsed view so it's showing 2 gig and that's our file sequence there. Here's another camera shot I've rendered. We'll right click, input all channels and then close the dialog. And here we have all our channels, the complete default view, everything there. So we'll just make sure our duration is 100 frames everything's set the same here and what we'll start doing is we'll start layering this up for you. So we'll, first off we'll make sure that's showing the composition output and we'll, uh, we'll go here I'll put another player in this top view and that one will be tool output this one's composition output we just want to keep our, our bar at the bottom so we've got both views there tool output composition output ok let's bang that one straight in into there now what we need to do is add a colour correct 2.2 Now again, that's so we've preserved our linear workflow and we're adding our gamma correction right at the end and what we can do as well is uh, add some grain in there let's see here and there it's telling us this is the operator and that's the actual final rendered image. Okay. If we go here, blend and comp, what we'll do is show you how we can drop in the ambient occlusion pass. Set that to multiply. And then you can play with the opacity of it there. Another thing we'd do is is going in here, add a blur. And add our Z depth as a modulation image. Now, into modulation, select the desk, and if we go overboard with this, you can see it's, it's only really at the moment blurring this very back section. Now that is because we need to just have a look at this image here, and you can see we just need to change the gamma there. We could have set that up in the render dialog in the render element output. So here we go, we've got a much better graduation there on the z-depth. So I'll just add in a very slight blur there. The other thing we wanted to do was add in a colour correct on the floor. So again if we add in a blend and comp, we've got this image going as the back image, the front image is the floor. So I'll drag that straight in. Now click on this colour correct, colour correct basics and now this is showing the tool output here. We can change the hue of the floor. You can see here the saturation 
drop that right back. Um, pretty much everything there, the contrast. So you've got full control over the floor there. And you can layer up as many of these as you want, the, um, the complete render elements. Straight over the top, and as long as you put the blur in afterwards, it's brilliant. Okay, another one we'd do is we'll just add in another oops, blend and comp, and in it goes there. So we've taken this channel. And we've made a bit of a mess with that. Uh, what's happened is basically it's overlaid that because we're going to use this as a mask. There, so we'll just add in the color correct basic. Now then. What we want to do is uh, go into the tools, into keying. diamond key. Drop that straight in there. Sorry, not the diamond key. Master key. Straight in here. Now, we'll just change this player to show the tool input. Here. And we'll select the blue. So you can see now it's uh, it's got everything that we needed to change there. Now this image I've got masking on. So the input image there. Now in this colour correct now. Start messing around. You can see we've very quickly got the ability to tweak this shader, and everything else is uh, is happening on top. Again, you can do this with as many things as you need, and we'll uh, we'll go to output. We'll just render that out. Put composite. Okay. We'll save that file as well, so you have that. And rendering away. So there we've gone from start to finish of this scene, how to render, um, light, GI, the materials, EXR output, um, the whole shooting match on this scene. <laughs>